about one quarter of all marine species are associated with coral reefs, but also the livelihoods of half a billion people depend directly on functioning coral reefs, and many more benefit from invaluable services such as coastline protection. New drugs have been isolated from reef organisms, and glowing corals have provided innovative tools for biomedical research. Night is the best time to draw the luminous secrets from the corals. By shining blue light on corals, the scientists can induce a process called fluorescence. The blue light of their special underwater torches is absorbed by certain pigments in the coral tissue and then re-emitted as light with red-shifted colors. Researchers and students at the University of Southampton are analyzing this phenomenon in coral reefs in different parts of the world. From the sun-drenched reef crest down to the reef foundation, where the low light levels become limiting for coral growth. Using the experimental coral aquarium in Southampton, the researchers have already succeeded to unravel key functions that these pigments fulfill in the corals. In shallow water, they can act as sunscreens for the symbiotic algae that live in the tissue of the coral animal. In deep water that is naturally dominated by blue light, the transformation of light color by the fluorescent pigments helps the algal partners of the coral to make better use of the light for their photosynthesis. Due to the amazing optical properties of the fluorescent coral pigments, they can be used to study the functioning of living cells and tissues. Surprisingly, only a single gene is required to make these fluorescent molecules, so it's relatively easy to introduce them in cells under study. Their glow can then be used to visualize cellular processes under the fluorescence microscope. The application of fluorescent proteins as imaging tools in medical research helps us understand how diseases such as cancer, Alzheimer's or HIV affect the functioning of the cells within our bodies. The researchers at Southampton are screening the reefs for novel fluorescent pigments that allow new imaging application. One of their coral pigments that can change its colour from green to red helped with the invention of a microscopy technique that allows us to study cells with super resolution. Once promising candidates are found, the genes required to produce the protein pigments responsible for the glow are then isolated and analysed in detail in the molecular laboratory. Novel fluorescent pigments are subsequently tested in imaging applications in collaboration with medical researchers at the University Hospital Southampton and colleagues in research institutions around the globe. For this purpose, DNAs that contain the information for the production of a protein of interest and for the glowing protein are modified by molecular biological techniques and are fused together to build an artificial gene. When this gene is introduced into a cell, the two proteins form a tandem in which the glowing tag allows us to follow the invisible partner on its way through the living cell. The diversity of coral colours allows us to label different cellular building blocks and follow complex biological processes such as cell division. Students at the University of Southampton follow the glow of newly discovered pigments in their practical classes when they learn about biochemical techniques. However, the imaging power of fluorescence may not only be helpful in medical applications. The researchers want to use it to monitor the health of the corals themselves. Rising seawater temperatures and deteriorating water quality threaten coral reefs. So fluorescent pigments in coral skeleton help us date and analyse past periods of stress using isotopic and geochemical techniques. The pigments we're looking at though, they're different to the ones that are in living coral tissue, but we can still use fluorescence to detect their presence. And since they're only incorporated in certain times of the year, they form a banding in the coral skeleton and we can use that banding to date the coral in the same way that you can use tree rings to date a tree. The coral tissue itself responds in very distinct ways to different forms of stress, such as changes in light and temperature levels, wounding or the presence of parasites. When the causes for these colour changes are understood, they may help to monitor reef health. 
Fluorescence is extremely powerful when it comes to imaging, so we apply the knowledge that we gain from evolving coral pigments into microscopic tools to develop monitoring approaches for coral reefs. For example, fluorescence can be used to spot and count coral recruits on reefs that are recovering from episodes of stress. The Southampton researchers hope that they can contribute with their efforts to save coral reef ecosystems for the future.